Hi, it's Neha Nagandhi with Seen from the Inside weekly talk show. We're here at the Urban League of Greater Atlanta Spirit of Awards Luncheon? Spirit of the League. Spirit of the League Awards Luncheon. We're here at the Ritz Carlton in downtown Atlanta. And here with me, I have Miss Nancy Flake Johnson. Hi there. Who is the executive director and CEO of the Urban League of Greater Atlanta. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being here. I have to say, this was a fantastic event. Fantastic. Awesome. From beginning to end. Thank you. It was it was everything that you guys would have wanted to see. And it, it had awards, it had wonderful youth that were being recognized, it had a saxophone slayer that we all must meet and get to know, and Anonymous, the band, the full of youth, 18 to 20 year olds that would have just blown your socks away. So it had a little bit of everything. And it had Dwight Howard. And it had recognized <laughs> Dwight Howard. How could yes. I, I would be remiss in not mentioning yeah, Absolutely. But, so I want to talk to you about how many years have you been in charge of Urban League of Great Atlanta? Well, July 1st of this year will make nine years. Nine years. Nine glorious years. Nine. <laughs> it has gone so fast. Yes. I can't believe it's been nine years. So tell our viewers what the Urban League of Greater Atlanta does. So the Urban League of Greater Atlanta is a civil rights organization. We've been around 97 years. Wow. And we're one of 88 affiliates across this country, all dedicated to the economic empowerment of African Americans and anyone who wants to move their station in life. Uh, while we've always focused on African Americans, uh, because our, in our early years, we met the needs of migrated families from the South who were basically fleeing um, just inhumane conditions, uh, Jim Crow laws, all of the things that made it challenging for a family to be able to live a decent life. Right. And so this also coincided with the Industrial Revolution. And so word spread to the South right. that factories were hiring for opportunities in the North and families just quietly just started moving toward opportunity. Right. And when they got there, they found that things weren't as open as we thought. Mm. And so people needed housing, they needed health care, they needed access to education and jobs. Right. And there were three interracial organizations that decided to blend their their resources to support those families and that's how the Urban League Movement was born 107 years ago. What an accomplishment that is! Yes, and stick and, and I wish I could tell you that there was no need for the Urban League anymore, yes. but sadly the statistics are clear that despite an economic recovery that African Americans and people of color are still having challenges plugging back in so that we can live a good life. In Georgia alone, we're number one for business, but we're almost number one for poverty. Oh. How can you have those two things coexist? And that's what the Urban League's goal is to bring, merge those worlds together so that every citizen has the right and the opportunity to thrive. Well, need we say more? <laughs> need we say more? Uh, your organization creates so much social good in our community, which is the platform of the show, Seen from the Inside. This is what we talk about, is creating social good, talking to leaders such as yourself, and then inspiring those viewers and listeners to create their own version of social good out Absolutely. there, right? And that does not mean that you have to write a check. It means that you have to spend your time That's right. and energy, find that passion That's to right. create your own version of social good out there. And if your passion is to help out the Urban League of yes. Greater Atlanta, Yes. Where do they go? They go to our website, www.ulgatl.org, or call us at 404-659-1150. We need volunteer coaches, mentors. We need employers. We need instructors. We need people with a passion who just want to help people. And we help youth, adults, and families. Anyone knows our goal is to say, if you need something and you feel alone, you know you can come to the Urban League, and there will be someone there who cares about what's happening in your world. Oh my goodness, my heart is just beating so fast because this organization has open doors for anybody. There's no restrictions. That's and right. I have had the pleasure to interview and talk to so many people and some organizations have certain restrictions that you have to be this years of age oh, yes. or you have to be male or you have to be female. That's right. And here's an organization that just opens their doors and their hearts to welcome you if you need any type of assistance at all. 
Absolutely. So Doors please, are open. So please, you know, take advantage of them or give your time, your energy. And we do like checks, though. And we... And checks are important. Checks, <laughs> checks are very checks important. Are also checks important. are important. But, but time, yes. we call it time, talent, and treasure. treasure. Yes, Thank yes. You. So find either any one of those um, and give it to the Urban League of Greater Atlanta. So we have a little portion of our show that we call Fun Questions. Okay. Okay, we're going to ask you some very quick fun questions. Okay, okay here we go. All right, what's your favorite thing about living in Atlanta? The weather. You're Even like, you're the, like the third or fourth person that has said that. It's, yes, it, it is. It is. It's the weather. I was, I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, oh, that I still love my hometown. But, um, you know, I, I just don't have to deal with another winter if I don't have to. Right. So I do love the weather. I, I love the weather, too. Yes. Okay. What is your favorite song to sing in the shower? Ooh. Uh, what is it? Oh, my God. Oh, you know what I love? Whitney Houston. Um, uh, I look to you. Oh. <gasps> that is a beautiful song. Oh, I love that song. Oh, I. So that's my favorite. That is your favorite. That is my favorite. Thank you so and much. And I become Whitney at the time. By do way. you really? <laughs> do you do like the motions, like the hand motions, well, the I hair try. motions? I, I, you know, I try. You just but, you go know. all out of the shower. Listen, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's my five seconds of fame. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Miss okay. Nancy Flake Johnson, who is the executive director of Urban League of Greater Atlanta. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me.